the true nature of Australian families. Variety of family structure. Extended family. The extended family is a large family group which includes grandparents, parents, brothers, sister, aunts, uncles and cousins. Nuclear family. It consists of parents and their children. Single parent families. This family type the children are brought up by only one parent, usually the parent is the mother but sometimes it is the father. Step families. Step family is one in which there is a child or children who is the natural child of one partner in a marriage but not both. Shared care families. There are families where the parent live in separate home and the children spend part of the week living with one parent and the rest of the week with the other. Both are equally responsible for looking after their children's needs. Foster families. There are families who care for children who are not related to them. Sometimes there are a number of children from different families living in the same foster home. Residential children's home. Children without families or whose families are unable or unwilling to look after them may live in a residential home. How many children live in out-of-home care in Australia? The most recent statistics from the AU show that, as of the 30th of June 2017, there were 47,915 Australian children living in UK. However, this conceptualization masks the true nature of Australian families, which has changed significantly in recent decades. As sociologists and demographers have long known, the Australian family is as diverse and different as the country's terrain. We know there are more than 6 million families in Australia. This is a significant increase from the 5 million or so families counted at the 2011 census. Of these 6 million families, the most common family form was the couple family with no children, 37.76%. The next most common was couple families with dependent children under the age of 15, 30.64%. These proportions confirm that the nuclear family is no longer the most common family form in Australia. One parent families with dependent children comprise around 8% of all Australian families. Reflecting this move away from the traditional, nuclear family and the rise of more couple families without children, is the size of families. In 2016, around 30% of all families were two-person families. A further 27% were four-person families. Most couple families with children in Australia are so-called intact families, 89.94%, consisting of at least one child who is the natural or adopted child of both partners in the couple. However, families are becoming increasingly more blended, as couples dissolve, due to separation, divorce or death of a partner, and new families are formed. Blended families are a small proportion of modern Australian family forms, accounting for just over 3.7% of all families. This includes families with two or more children, at least one of whom is the natural or adopted child of both partners and at least one other child who is the stepchild of one of them. A further 6.3% of families are step families. Here, there is at least one resident stepchild, but no child who is the natural or adopted child of both partners. Grandparent-led families are also increasingly significant. Grandparents already play a significant role in Australian family lives through the provision of informal child care, but there are now just over 60,000 grandparent families in Australia, which a significant increase from estimates in 2004 which found around 22,500 grandparent families. Of those two, 53% of grandparent families are couple families with grandchildren and 47% are lone grandparent families. Same-sex families. These are families with same-sex parents homosexual couples who are either gay or lesbian. The census gathered information on same-sex couples. Compared with opposite-sex couples, these data show that family forms differ across sexual orientation. Overall, around 15% of same-sex couples had children. Female same-sex couples were more likely to be in couple families with dependent children, 20.67%, compared to male same-sex couples, 3.10%, or opposite-sex couples, 37.8%. However, same-sex couples were still more likely to be in couple families with no children than were opposite-sex couples, and they were more likely to have smaller families.
Of those, around 54% of male same-sex couples with children and 51% of female same-sex couples with children had one-child families. One-third of same-sex couples had two children. In comparison, 36% of opposite-sex couples had one child, and 42% had two children. What these data from the census show is just some of the diversity within the Australian family. While the idealized nuclear family of the past is no more, this does not mean that the family as a social institution is in decline, or that families in contemporary Australia are at risk. But it does mean families are changing. Our political leaders should reflect on this diversity to ensure social policies reflect these differences, so that all families are well supported.